Hi, I hope you had amazing holidays and I hope you make this new one a great one. So I'd like to talk about the brain today and the gut-brain connection. As you know, you know, when you're emotional, when you have fear, anxiety, and you worry about things, well, don't you feel it in your gut? Well, because the brain sends signals to the gut and, and uh, it goes the opposite way too. Well, so what I'm eating makes a big difference to help. But my emotions is huge. And so I hope this new year you take care of yourself and don't be so bombarded with everything that's out there because you can't change the whole world. You can take care of yourself. And as you take care of yourself, you can take care of others too. But you come first. And, you know, there's so much um, propaganda now about animal diet and, uh, you know, how much we need it because the meat industry has been teaching us actually more than 100 years that if you want protein, you get it from meat. Dairy industry took over and said, well, you want calcium, you get it from dairy. So we all thought, well, that's hunky doodle. We don't have it to think anymore. Calcium and protein, what else do you need? So we're paying a big price and people are suffering more than ever. I've been working in this field for more than 40 years. And I would say the last 10, 15 years, people are sicker than ever, sicker with diseases than ever. Meaning people that had cancer 10, 15 years ago were stronger, had, uh, had more stamina, more energy to go through with their healing crisis than they do now. And that is lifestyle. That has a lot to do with the foods and the lifestyle the, the you know we don't exercise enough we eat ma mainly processed foods and we eat foods that have opiates in it that foods that have so many chemicals that the list is far too long for any human to ever consume so there is uh, a lot to change and you know ucla did a study where they concluded that um Bacteria from food can really affect our brain, brain function. And you know how many times meat, fish, chicken, dairy, and um, all the poultry is recalled many times because of staph infections and E. coli. So I want to stay out of those kind of bugs and I want to eat a vegan plant-based diet to help my brain function. So the diet that we got on uh, the last, I would say, at least 50 years with high caloric, low fiber, high sugar has caused a lot of problem. And when it comes to brain function like dementia, and now, for example, uh, dementia, they think by 2025, dementia is going to rise uh, enormously and there's millions of people that are suffering, meaning their family is suffering with them. And Alzheimer, you know, it's not just memory loss, it's personality change. It, it impaired reasoning and eventually it's death. So uh, whatever we can do with our diet, uh, it's, um, you know, the relationship between obesity, uh, diabetes and dementia is now clear and research and the role of insulin and the critical neuron, neur, neuron system um, and vascular function, meaning our heart, right? Inflammation and poor glucose tolerance is critical because our pancreas makes insulin, but our brain makes it too. And it's made in the hippocampus, which is our memory and learning center. And insulin resistance, Diabetes is one of the leading causes of oxidative stress and brain disorder. So what can I do to help myself to prevent? Of course, I want to exercise. I want to take brisk walks. I want to eat live food that has enzymes, that has uh, all the phytonutrients, hormones, oxygen, right? I can take... Um, Supplements like omega-3, hopefully you don't choose fish oil, because to me that's 
definitely rotten. Anybody that's ever hunted or fished, like I was brought up fishing my first 15 year, I became vegan at 15. But before that, I thought fresh fish was the best thing under uh, the sun. <laughs> and realizing that as soon as an animal dies, then some activity is breaking it down and it's rotten. It's rotten instantly, within seconds, right? So I don't want uh, that. I want omega-3 from chia and hemp and nuts and avocado and fresh uh, leafy greens, right? B12, B-complex, zinc, selenium, very important. Glutathione is all important for brain function. And uh, we have one of our favorite products, Con Conscious Brain. Conscious Brain is amazing to help you uh, and your brain function. So um, our brain and its uh, 100 billion neurons and trillions of connections uh, orchestrates everything from understanding, memory, to movement, and to sleep. So our brain, you know, is bombarded with sensory information, but only a fraction of it reaches the consciousness. So a few experiences are stored as memories and only the ones that are useful and that can guide us are stored. But I also want to remind you that um, if you hold a thought more than 33 seconds, it is yours. It's yours in the memory, in the storage. And, you know, when we have something wonderful happen, it kind of goes through our brain very fast, right? When something bad happens, we dwell on it. And those 33 seconds is only the beginning. So we kind of have to realize that we are a big part of our own detriments. So, you know, I hope this new year you really take care and take care of yourself with diet and exercise, but also emotionally and um, you know realize how, how important it is that we do some neurons regulate breathing heartbeat blood pressures hunger thirst some sex drive some sleep cycles and it also generates the emotions perceptions and thoughts that guide our behavior and it executes our actions and it also is responsible for the conscious awareness of our minds so you know imagine how much power you have so you know don't get overrun by all the information that's out there you choose what you need and choose an amazing life for this new year I think we're all deserve to have health and Whatever you can do for other people, do for yourself first. Have a great day.